it's Robin and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a back handspring on your own and there's like there's six steps to this so the first step is to stretch so let's stretch so after you so after you stretch make sure to learn this like slow motion back handspring so what you're going to do is basically a back a back handspring or a back like here, let me just show you. So, back and bend. Take a little with two legs. That's basically a show, slow motion back handstand. Now, if you want to learn back handstand step out, this is what you'll do. A back walk over. Like this. Back walk over. That's a slow motion back handstand step out. So after you've learned that, so I'll give you a chance to learn that. So after, so after you stretch and learn that, make sure to maybe have a spot next to you the first time you try this. And make sure to basically like try it on a trampoline or try it on a bouncy floor or anything where you know you won't get hurt. Maybe on the mat. But have someone next to you is what you want. So I'm going to let you have a chance to try it by yourself. So, if you have done that, now let's try it on our own. So make sure to always have like at least a back walk over or back or back bend kick over, so you'll be able to learn this. But make sure to do it fast. Don't do it like slow like the first time. So let's do it at the same time. Three. Sorry if I messed up because I'm on sand. But three, two. One. Make sure to do a countdown. Three, two, one. Make sure to always have a round off at the end. So once, if you might be learning like how like you need to go into the back handspring, so let's do this together in slow mo. So have your always have your arms up, never like down, because that will make that will hurt you if you land. So always have your arms up. And if you're a gymnast on the team like me, we always have to go like this. Tight arms, tight legs, straight toes, all that stuff. So arms up. And then you gotta swing forcefully. Never do it slow like I am, just showing you. Swing very forcefully. Stick your butt out while you're right here. And then, so let's do that together. Five, six, seven, eight. Like that. And once your arms are all the way back here, straighten out your legs. Watch my legs. Three, two, one. See? Do the straight. Okay? So let's do it again. Five, six, seven, eight. And then, when you have to force to go into the back handspring. So, let's do that. So if you haven't already, if you heard these little bells, this is Princess, this is my little puppy. And we're at the beach, so she's kind of dirty, and we have to give her a bath. So yeah, that's Princess. And <laughs> she's digging! Yay, she's digging! <laughs> so that, that's Princess. So let's do a back handspring. Let's go over there. Okay, let's do a back handspring. So make sure you have very force. And once you're done with your back handspring, always have a jump. So let's watch it. Come here. Come here. Over there. Okay. Three, two, one, go. And my legs are kind of bent on that one. Let's do it three more times. Because once you have it three or more times, then you have it down. You can have this on the spot, or you can have it by yourself. So let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Forceful. And jump. Finish. Do it one more time, and then I'm going to show you round off back handspring. Or maybe not, I don't know. Three, two, one, forceful. Didn't count. 
three, two, three, two, one, go. Okay, now you have it. Let's do a round of that camping. Now you have your round up back handspring or the standing back handspring or, or back handspring step out on your own. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.